guys what's up how you guys doing and welcome back to my channel and today is the first day of me trying to do vlogmas don't know if i'm gonna make it to the end i am currently in traffic because there's an accident and my whole road is blocked off so that might as well start the vlog um and vlogmas is basically where you vlog every day from the first of december to christmas and today is actually november 30th and so i'll be posting this on the first day of december and until christmas and i think it's just a challenge to myself mainly okay so we cannot go this way great okay guys so i just got to the thrift store and i'm waiting on my friend to get here but can we talk about how i'm now low-key a blonde i just washed it for the first time and i have a styler that's coming in tomorrow and i'm probably gonna do like a review it's the new revlon like dryer straightener thing and so i'll probably use it at some point in this vlog and um not this vlog particularly but vlogmas in general and um i'm excited but I love it. It's like um, a subtle, it's like balayage, but it's more front, front framing pieces. There's like less in the back and this is just my natural hair and I got like layers and stuff again. So I'm excited and today is the first day of my vlogmas and I'm going thrifting and I haven't gone thrifting in like low key, like almost over a year I haven't gone thrifting. I look like Where's Waldo today, but it is 70 degrees in Atlanta, you guys. 70 degrees it's okay 67 right now but like the past like three or four days it's been so hot it's insane but like the weeks before that it was freezing so it doesn't make any sense and at night and in the mornings it's pretty chilly too um i'm hoping that today's a good thrift day but if not i still got to get out of the house and do something for first day of vlogmas so i'm excited so i'm vlogging on my phone hopefully no one turns right here on this intersection amber is with me as always as always <laughs> and the freaking thrift store was a fail so then we decided to walk because it's super cute and we made a friend this is our friend jeffrey jeffrey <laughs> <laughs> yo my hair looks bomb oh i am feeling it yeah mm. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm already home because thrifting was a fail. There were so many people there and you could tell that like all these people got there like super early and like there was nothing left and you know with thrifting you have to like get the good stuff. Um, and so we walked around like Avondale Estates which is like near Decatur, Georgia if you're from Atlanta and it was super cute. They have like an art lot and I took like a mini little photo shoot and it was fun. And now I'm back home but I'm gonna do some unboxing because I ordered some things. So my mom's cooking in the background if you hear noises, but I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon and I also spoiled myself. <laughs> I'm filming for my video. Okay. So the first thing I got from Amazon were these blue light blocking glasses and it was like the number one, the best selling on Amazon. So I assumed it would be good. So it's T-I-J-N is the brand of these glasses. And they're just like the clear ones that are supposed to block out the blue light. So hopefully I don't get headaches from looking at my screen all day. And of course I have a small head. So these are obviously way too big. But is it a look? Can it be a look? This is one of those facial hair removers. Mom, I got one of these. What's that? Where you can like remove the hair. It's like a shaver facial hair remover and it's like to get rid of like peach fuzz on your face and this one had like the best reviews wait we don't have instructions do we have a double a battery so you get one hair remover with cap and one cleaning brush but no battery you have to insert the battery a double a battery I'm probably gonna try it out. And it says this one has a light on it. You have to check if you're reading the plus some area, then you're cleaning your face. 
yeah, I'll probably check it on my leg first. Might as well. So I have this hair remover. I don't know if it's gonna work well. We'll test it out sometime during Vlogmas and I'll let you know. Um, I gotta put a battery in it. I think there's some batteries in there. Up there somewhere. And this is the much awaited item that I have been wanting to get from Amazon forever. And my one of my friends has it. And she says it's awesome. Every single blog that says you need this item, like these items from Amazon, has this on it. Any guesses? Leave them in the comments now. Don't cheat. Yo, they vacuum sealed this. Okay, I need to get some scissors. <laughs> Open the package and you can already tell what it is. It is a teddy coat. The infamous Amazon teddy coat. And I've been wanting a teddy coat for so long. And it's so cheap on there. Ooh, moment of truth, this is super soft. Yay, I definitely didn't. Did I get a medium? I think I did get a medium. Cause they're like small. The review said that they were super small. Ooh. <laughs> it's so fluffy and it's fluffy on the inside too. Joe mom, do you like it? It's supposed to be bigger. You know, Pilu, the other one I returned that was too short? Yeah. This one's like long. Okay. What is your review, mom? Do you think it's cute? Yeah. Tell my vlog. Yes. <laughs> Nana approved you guys, so it's cute. I got a size medium because they say that it's, because you're supposed to wear it. But it's supposed to be it's supposed to be oversized because I'm like they try to like wear it like fashionably like this off the side and stuff. And the other one, like you know how we got the one from H and M and it was too short in the back. This is like the perfect length in the back. Cause the other one was like way up there. Ooh, it's so soft. Okay, so I'm excited about this, but it's also 70 degrees, so I'm taking this off. It's like a blanket that you can wear. Mom's cooking my favorite food, finally. And this is my much awaited unboxing. Oh. What? This is what I decided to spoil myself for all the work I've done this year. <laughs> and I got myself a new MacBook Pro because my Mac has been acting all types of crazy and it's not the newest one so it's not the 16 inch um one that was recently in 2019 this is like the earlier one this is the macbook pro 13 inch space gray with touch bar 8 gig 256 8 gb ram 256 gig uh i don't know what version this is but I know it's 2019, I think, because there's two versions in 2019. I don't know, but I got a new MacBook Pro. It's space gray, and I'm so ready to set it up. And I got a new one because, ooh, they even have like a sticker that you can just pull this off. Anyone else find this satisfying? Here's your ASMR or whatever this is called. My old Mac was on its deathbed. And it also had like zero storage capabilities. And making these videos requires a lot of storage. Moment of truth. I'm really scared. This is the same size as my current one. Look at this, like Apple is genius. Like they even have flaps so you can pull it out. Ooh, what is this? It's like a lightning cable. Oh, I also need to get an SD card reader because these new laptops 
They don't even have ports in them. Ooh, exciting. Joe Mom, what color I got? Oh, I already know I got fingerprints on it. Sound good. Just making up. This is my laptop. What do you mean I'm messing with it? Ooh, it has a touch bar. Wait, how you turn this on? Ooh, what language do I speak? Many. We're bilingual in this his house. English. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Okay. She talking to me. These laptops talk to us now. <laughs> oh, it's so much. Ooh, this keyboard is different too. Okay, I haven't set up the trackpad and I keep hitting it like my old trackpad. Does anyone else like really hate it when like other people's trackpad settings aren't the same as yours or when you're doing um, <clears throat> non-matte products and they don't even have a trackpad? What is my Apple ID? Oh my gosh, this keyboard is very different. I kind of miss the old keyboard. This is my first impressions of my new MacBook Pro. It's not the newest one, again. What is my password? Mm. Wrong. Wait, did I order the orangey one or did I order the... We'll see. I'll put in the description bar what I like the links to what I ordered. Agree. I definitely read all those terms and conditions. What is that? Like a lime? That looks like LimeWire. Who used to have LimeWire back in the days? Leave it in the comments below. Also leave in the comments below what my mom is cooking. That's my favorite food. All my friends should know. Mom, you can comment below too. Okay. <laughs> This is my new MacBook Pro, and I'm so excited. I'll make, be making all these cool videos for you guys off of this beauty. And it's very lightweight. Oh my God, there's only two things here. Hold up. They don't even have a USB port in this. There's only these two lightning ports on this side, and then one, I don't know what if this is a charger port. Setting up my bag. Ooh. Ah, thumbnail. Oh my god, so it feels like it's so late, but it's only 8.30 and I'm so tired of it getting dark so freaking early because it ruins my productivity and my motivation to do anything. Um, I was just editing this video and I realized I didn't close it out and I really didn't do anything Christmassy today, but let's be honest, I'm not like my family and we're not just like very Christmassy people. I actually have Christmas lights outside. I may show them to you guys. Um, they're not really Christmas lights. They're like, you'll see. Um... What else is there? Just wanted to say that this is not very Christmassy Vlogmas. This is more just like me vlogging every day and making it a challenge to do it. And there are gonna be some days where I'm going out of town. So it makes sense to do it in December. Um, and please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this with somebody else you know. Bye guys.